So now the last, the last place that we were was a place that was very familiar to Edward Hopper. And here we have two places, very different. And I want, and let's take a few seconds and look at these photographs and see what we can find. I think you should say, see what we can see, or see what we notice. See what we what notice. We find. Okay. Yeah. See what we notice. So what do we see going on in these photographs? Uh, Sharon, I think you had your hand up first. Well, I, my first thought is that these are really two very different places. What do you see that makes you say that these are different places? Well, this one here on our, my left looks really urban and the one on my right looks really non-urban, like beachy, like, like that's the beach and this is the city. So you're noticing, you're noticing very different landscapes. You're noticing an urban landscape on your left and you're noticing a, a beach. What do, you, what do you see that makes you say that it's a beach? Well, it looks like sand and dune grass. Okay. Dunes. It looks very dune-like with the shape of the dune and the sand and the dune grass. What, what do other people think of, of the locations in this paint, in these photographs? Well, I'm also seeing two very different um, landscapes. Um, but it seems like the same person uh, is in each landscape. Okay, so you're noticing the person. Can you tell me what you see that makes you think that it's the same person? Well, the sunglasses okay. look the same, uh, hair looks the same, similar anyway. And there seems to be some consistency in the way the person is dressed. So you're based on the color. So you're noticing then his appearance. Yeah, and um, this is the artist. The artist is Zheng is Zhuang Shi and he is a photographer. And these are two photographs that were part of a series called East Meets West. So let's talk a little bit more about, about, how, the, uh, about how the figure is uh, in these photographs is, is dressed. What, what, does anything look on what looks unusual about how this person is dressed? Kathleen? Well, he's not dressed for the beach, that's for sure. What do you see that makes you say that he's not dressed for the beach? Well, it looks like he's in some type of um, suit, possibly even a uniform of some kind. Might be more appropriate for an urban setting, but not a, not a, you know, not a beach setting. Okay. The jacket that the person is wearing is a metal jacket, which is a uniform that was worn by uh, people in China in the late 40s and early 50s. Um, so is he from China? He, is, he was born in Hong Kong and he lives in the United States. His parents had fought Mao Zedong and had uh, been against 
against Mao Zedong. And he took on this persona so because he felt that it made him look important. There was a time where he went to a restaurant in New York, and when he went into the restaurant dressed like this, everybody treated him very special. So he said, hmm, I think I have a, I think I have a persona that I'd like to carry a little bit further. Um, what else are we seeing? What else do we see in these photographs? Merle? I'm wondering why he's doing this. I'm sorry? I'm wondering why he's doing this, putting himself in these places like this. This is a series of photographs that he had done that he wants to uh, point out the almost absurdity of uh, people in touristy areas like the one on the left or natural areas like the one on the right. The one on the right is Provincetown, Massachusetts. The one on the left is Paris. And um, he, this is a series of, art, of photographs that that he wanted to uh, that he wanted to use this character. In. I guess I'm confused because I'm not sure why it would be absurd to be in either one of those places. Well, I mean, they both could be appealing. Maybe I'm not getting it. He wants to. Um, He wants to I'm sorry, I've got, I've got I, I'm not I'm not sure exactly how to answer that question. Well one of the things is you've gotten yourself into that yeah. you've backed yourself into a corner. Yes I did. And I'm trying to figure out And you what, what you should have said when I asked that question is what do you think might be what he, since, you know, I've asked that question, why, what do you, why do you think he might have put himself in these places? The other thing is, East meets West. You know, the, the, the title is talking, that's what we're doing here. East is meeting West, you know. Maybe I would pick up on that or, you know, it, it's just like you, you started to get into the lecture mode. I got myself in trouble. Mm -hmm. Whoops. Yeah.